How do the little piggies go? That's right. Oik, oik. Now, show me how the piggies eat. This is your trough. Show me how the piggies eat. Be a good boy. Show mommy how the piggies eat. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another great deck tech here at Chuckwagon MTG. Today we're playing a little hungry, hungry, hungry piggy. Uh, so uh, our piggy in the deck is Ilharg the Raised Boar. Now there was a um, in Core Set 2020 there was a card that was previewed and it made me instantly think of Ilharg and what a great pairing it would be. Uh, and that would be uh, Agent of Treachery. But let's let's talk about the, about the pig first. So um, Ilharg the Raised Boar for three and two red. It's a six six boar god with trample. Uh, whenever it attacks, you can put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking, and then you return that to your hand at the end and the next uh, end step. At the beginning of the next end step, um, if it if it dies or if it's exiled, you can put it third from the top in your library. So our our partner in crime is the uh, Agent of Treachery. It's a 2-3 human rogue for 7. That's uh, 2 blue and 5. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you gain control of target permanent. So any permanent on the field at the beginning of your end step, if you control 3 or more permanents uh, that you don't own, you draw three cards, so a little benefit there if you can get if you can get out there and you can snatch up anything on the battlefield. It's it's really hilarious. Um, now there's several ways. These are expensive spells, Ilharg, and uh, how do we get there? You know, you could go the Gruel route with, um, uh, you know, uh, all the ramp in green. Uh, that's fine, but I I really had a a, a different approach to this because I thought. Um, maybe I can ramp there with goblins. So our our main source of getting you know getting our creatures to the battlefield early are these goblins. Uh, Skirk Prospector for one red. You can sacrifice a goblin and add uh, one red mana. There's four of those. There's Goblin Banneret, which I've I've noticed in the early game, uh, Goblin Banneret is is fantastic. If you haven't seen Ilharg yet, you don't have your win condition out. You pump uh, Goblin Banneret uh, to a three-one, and swing in with one of your other goblins, one of you, you know your Skirk Prospector, your Fanatical Firebrand, of course, and it'll put a one-one counter on it on the other attacking creature because it has mentor. Uh, you can actually get a lot of damage in early in the game. So our other goblin is a fanatical firebrand of course, a great turn one attack in with you know with paste or you can sack it and deal one damage to any target. Uh, for card draw we have chart of course. Uh, draw two cards and discard a card unless you attack with a creature this turn. Some removal with lava coil and with lightning strike and then um, there's two things that uh, will make this deck uh, une unexpected uh, or uh, I guess it would enable Ilharg to stay alive long enough to get Agent of Treachery out there and the first one is Leyline of Anticipation there's three of these in the deck you I you know you want to get this out uh, in your opening hand um, so what this does, if it's in your opening hand, you can put it on the battlefield, and you can cast any spell as though they had flash. So this is, you know, since we do have kind of a fragile win condition with the these one one goblins and um, a huge gap between one one creatures and getting to Ilharg, uh, putting stuff on the battlefield uh, on at the end of your opponent's uh, turn. Uh, will help prevent a lot of removal, or at least uh, some of it. So, Lane, I've asked anticipation. Even if it comes out on turn four, that's fine. Uh, also, uh, Samet Tyrant Smasher for to give all creatures haste. Uh, when these come out on curve, it's really it's really fun. Uh, so, uh, get Ilharg out on the battlefield, swing in, Agent of Treachery, and steal whatever you want off the battlefield. Um, our other win condition, Chandra Awakened Inferno. So the, she serves two purposes. First of all, she can't be countered, so a good 
uh, match up with control. She puts these uh, her plus two. She'll put these uh, emblems out that will ping your opponent for one at the beginning of their upkeep. Um, and you can, you know, I just click the plus two over and over again uh, every turn and just pile this damage up. It also has removal uh, with its minus three, uh, deals three damage to each non-elemental creature. And then it has spot removal uh, where you can do X damage to target creature or planeswalker. And if it would, if that creature or planeswalker would die, then exile it. Um, and that covers all of the pieces and parts, our land. Uh, in, just in case you don't see Agent of Treachery, Emergence Zone, you can give all your spells flash until end of turn. Um, four Sulfur Falls, four Steam Vents, um, eight Mountains, and six Islands. So that is Hungry Piggy. Uh, let's get into a quick game and see if we can um, feed this Hungry Piggy. All right, playing some Hungry Hungry Piggy. Uh, this is terrible. Yeah, this is bad. That's better. Oh, we got our two guys. All right, I'm going to keep you. And I'm going to put a... Um, I think we put the goblin banneret on the bottom. We got our we got our tools here. I mean, we don't have our ramp, but we we have we have stuff we can do. Yep. I'm okay with trading a land or elf because they mulligan down so far. What do they got here? Oh, reliquary tower. Nice. I mean, I hate to say it, but I, you know, maybe their mulligan gives us a, an opportunity. Okay, okay. This is this is good. Uh, skirt prospector, get you out there. So we we can get um, Ilharg out on the next turn. Yep, no hide. I dig you. You know what's cool too is um, you can deactivate him and steal him. which I don't think they're going to like very much. You first. Hard. And the, you know, they can't play non-creature spells. They don't I mean, I guess they could. I don't think they have anything that could kill our ill heart right now. So we're definitely, um, oh, Blanchwood armor. Hopefully they put some armor on it. There you go. Cool. So we can steal the Nullhide Ferox on this next turn. So let's, yes, I'm going to shut you off. Put you out, steal you. And then I, I think it returns it. Yeah, it turns it back to my hand. <laughs> this deck is so funny. Aww. <laughs> Uh, that's basically how it's supposed to happen. But, you know, he got a little mana screwed. Uh, but play around with the deck, you know, see what you can, um, 
see if there's any upgrades, you know, any changes you would make. It's 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 kind of an unexpected um, best of one deck. But as you see, it's it's pretty funny to steal people's stuff. <laughs> All right, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, once again, I'm JJ uh, for Chuck Wagon MTG. Uh, if you like what you saw, uh, please subscribe. You know, hit the bell notifications. You can. Uh, know whenever we're putting something out that's ridiculous like this and uh, uh, yeah share this uh, with your friends your family your pets because everyone can use a little more magic in their lives uh, thanks for watching